Hello people, we are going to discuss about theories of emotion in this video. Well, there are many theories of emotions, but we are going to discuss two in this video and two in the next. So, the theories we are going to discuss in this video are James Lang theory and Cannon Bar theory. So, James Lang theory is one of the earliest theories of emotion given by William James and Carl Lang. In this theory, a stimulus of some sort produces a physiological reaction which leads to the labeling of emotion. For example, according to them, when I encounter a large snarling dog, there are physiological reactions happening in my body first. So when the dog snarls at me, I start shaking or running and then I realize and label the emotion that, oh, I'm afraid. Simply put, I'm afraid as I was shaking or running. Some other sentences to make the concept clear are I'm embarrassed because my face is red or I'm nervous because my stomach is fluttering. But hey, what about the people who have spinal cord injuries that prevents their sympathetic system from functioning? Although, James and Lag would predict that these people should show decreased emotion because the arousal that causes emotion is no longer there. This, in fact, does not happen. Several studies of people with spinal cord injuries report that these people are capable of experiencing the same emotion after their injury as before, sometimes even more intensively. And one more thing, while there is evidence for different patterns of bodily responses in certain emotions, doubts have risen as to whether especially in more subtle and less intense emotion, these bodily patterns can be perceived. In general, our perception of internal changes is not very acute. For these reasons, this theory has been questioned. Now moving on to cannon bar theory. This theory was proposed by Walter Cannon and Philip Barth in 1920s, which stated that the felt emotion and the bodily reactions in emotion are independent of each other. Both are triggered simultaneously. Cannon did not feel that the physical changes caused by different emotions were distinct enough to allow them to be perceived as different emotions. Bart expanded on this idea by stating that the sensory information that comes into the brain is sent simultaneously by the thalamus to both the cortex and the organs of sympathetic system. So taking the example of snarling dog and me again, according to them, I would say I am afraid and running. Well, it has its critics too. So this person named Lashley, he stated that the thalamus would have to be pretty sophisticated to make sense of all the possible human emotions and relay them to proper areas of the cortex and body. It would seem even some other parts of the brain are also involved in processing emotions. People do not need feedback from those organs to experience emotion. However, there is an alternate pathway that carries information from these organs to the cortex that is vagus nerves, one of the cranial nerves. So I guess this now made this theory a little less convincing. The other two theories that we are going to discuss in the next video are Scactor Singer Theory and Lazarus and the Cognitive Mediational Theory. That's it for today. Thank you.